south of the Spanish border and about 25 miles north of Porto. I'm going to be checking out this fantastic little town with its fantastic Portuguese food, culture and traditions. I'll also be looking at the Portuguese hot dog that they claim to be the best in the world. Well, at the end of this video, I'll give you my unbiased opinion as to what I think. Welcome to Chef's Travels, I'm Kevin Harrington and this is Povoa de Bazim. Prominent historical reminences of early Viking and Roman inhabitants can still be seen not only in some of the architecture surrounding Pobua de Vazim, but also in some of the culture and some of the festivities put on by this fantastic little town. Unlike the Algarve, this is not a popular holiday destination for Brits and Europeans. However, the Portuguese people absolutely love this little place mainly attracted by the long white sandy beaches and the absolutely amazing fantastic festivals put on by this little village in the summer season. So again, I don't know which one this one's called, but I'm going to tuck into this. It's almost as good as um, biltong, or dried meats that you get. It obviously is cured. Uh, absolutely fantastic. No me quiero morir más Me salva de tantas guerras Que he cansado de llorar Y ahora que ya estoy de vuelta Quiero vivir más Unos nacen con todo Otros casi sin nada Pero todos vivimos to the Portuguese hot dog. Um, this is a spicy version, as you can see inside the sausages and uh, some onions, some peppers and some sauce. Well, the proof is in the pudding. I'm going to test this and see what I think. Portuguese hot dog, fantastic taste, nice and spicy, pretty much pairing with a good kebab without the salad, but um, best in the world, mm, I think that's pushing it a little bit far. Uh, credit where it's due, they are really, really nice. Um, and yeah, fair play to the Portuguese hot dog. Really enjoyed that. Uh, this is Chef's Travels, I'm Kevin Harrington. Thanks very much for watching and I hope I'll see you on the next one.